What's going on, Mullen fans? I hope you guys are enjoying your weekends out there, recharging your batteries, getting ready for another week in the market. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the latest news for Mullen. We're also going to go over a few points in Business Dad's video and my thoughts on whether I believe Mullen is actually producing vehicles right now or not. Be sure to hit that like button, engage in the comments, and subscribe, and we're going to get right to it. Let's go. So Randy Marion says, we are sold out of Class 1 and Class 3 until December. Campus units still available. And contact Brad Sigmund at Randy Marion for more information. Now, I took a few notes from Business Dad's video that he had a conversation with Brad from Randy Marion because I honestly want to figure out if Mullen is actually producing these EV vehicles or not. And I want to bounce these points off some information that I looked into here recently. Brad from Randy Marion says that there are 1,054 Class 1 vehicles already sold and expected 50 to 100 more sold mid-December. So hence possibly the reason why the previous update about being completely sold out until December was posted. But my question to you all is, if 1,051 Class 1 vans were sold, why weren't they included in this previous PR of June 29th where they displayed their first uh, revenue reported after that 22 vans were sold with Randy Marion. Now these vans went from Mullen to Randy Marion for first recorded revenue. But in Business Dad's video, the 1,054 vans go from Mullen to Randy Marion to MGT leasing. So why wasn't more revenue reported since they've already been sold. So for my thought and my thought only, make sure you do your own due diligence. I believe that Mullen is just doctoring up Elm's inventory until they can actually start production. And I still believe if production has already started, why wouldn't it be officially announced? That is what big investors, big institutions are waiting to hear. And also obviously as well as retail shareholders. Now this text above, I did go over this months ago you know, Mullen did acquire Elm Solution. And as part of acquiring Elm Solution, they also acquired other things. And here's the list here. It says they have all intellectual property, IP, all inventory, including vehicles, finished and unfinished, finished goods, part modules, components, parts, raw materials, tooling, including but not limited to product specific tooling and all manufacturing data that is required or reasonably helpful for the assembly of the class one electric commercial delivery vans and class three commercial delivery cab chassis real property located in mishawaka indiana together with all buildings improvements and fixtures all tangible personal property, including equipment, machinery, furniture, supplies, computer hardware, data network service with, datas, uh, with data and software communication equipment, software disks, and all other data storage media. So the second bullet already starts with saying that Mullen acquired all inventory, including vehicles, finished and unfinished. And supposedly back in October 3rd, 2021, Elms showed a video displaying its first class one vans, plural vans, rolling off the assembly line, led by CEO, former CEO, James Taylor. They also say in this article, we are now delivering our transformative and sustainable EV solutions to commercial customers and solidifying our first mover status in the segment. The vans are produced produced in Mishawaka, Indiana. They were shipped to Randy Marion Group as part of a purchase order for 1,000 units. 1,000. Randy Marion just said with Business Dad that they sold 1,054 Class 1 vans. And check this out. Supported by a seasoned workforce at a plant that has produced American icons Elms has positioned itself at a vanguard of the commercial electrification movement, said Taylor. Vanguard's been buying and they just bought 36.8 million new shares of Mullen. Code word, who knows? Are they going to lend these shares out? 
Who knows? Because them buying definitely hasn't helped the stock price. Now, Business Dad also says that Brad from Randy Marion told him that he believes 10 to 12 companies were purchasing these Class 1 vans out of the 1,054, and that could also possibly lead to more purchase orders down the line for more Class 1 vans, but also could signal more pressure for production to begin if it has not already started. Because, you know, you got to produce the vehicles in order to fill these orders. Now, I wanted to bring this update DD back up from Cha Cha about the battery update, the 16 pallets, 112 cartons. According to the former CEO of Elm Solution, John Taylor, this was a critical piece of the puzzle that Mullen Automotive, you know, who now acquires Elms, needed in order to move things forward, confirm the actual volumes of EV vehicles that could be produced. In this clip I'm about to share with you all, it will be former CEO John Taylor. He will be speaking about the Elms vans, which are now Mullins vans. And he's also talking about the CATL battery supplier. Joining us now is Jim Taylor, CEO of Electric Glass Mile Solutions, to introduce the company to our audience in an area where electric vehicles are extremely popular. Even just saying EV gets people interested. Tell us more about the company. Thank you, Nicole. Well, we're uh, obviously a new company, fresh out of uh, SPAC fundraising and uh, launching our vehicles this quarter. The highlight was and I reported not just the earnings, but the big news was we're joining, I'd say, an exclusive elite club where we actually are shipping. You know, there's a lot of new entrants in this space and are uh, coming to market, announcing plans to come to market. But uh, we started shipping at the end of September. Our plants manufacturing uh, commercial vans, as you know, the product now. And uh, we're happy to be in business. Commercial vans. So, and I know that you plan to move to mass production and deliveries in 2022. What's the timeline for that? And what are you hoping to pump out? You know, we're moving, uh, you know, this is, this is a complicated business. We're working through, as the whole industry is, uh, numerous supply challenge, logistic challenges. But uh, we're ramping, as I said a few minutes ago, uh, we will be continuing to increase our line rate and production speed throughout the fourth quarter and into the first quarter. So we're uh, at the front end of so-called mass production, but we'll be uh, into it, uh, say, full bore uh, by the fourth quarter, fourth, uh, end of the fourth quarter, you know, into the first of the uh, next year. And uh, as you may know, it's already an existing plant, it was ready to go, it was already uh, facilitized, so we don't have any you know, capital installation issues. I've got a very experienced uh, team there that's been building vehicles for clearly 20 years. Uh, no labor issues. So, you know, once the parts make the back uh, back door, they're in and out very quickly and onto our customers. Yeah. Well, for those of us that are buried in this space, uh, there's some obvious potential supply constrictions. And as you just mentioned, the biggest one of those would be the batteries because, you know, everybody's jumping on the bandwagon. All the big OEMs, of course, announced very aggressive plans for transitioning to electric vehicles. And if you take all of those, you know, forecasts, add them all up together, that's going to put a huge amount of pressure on the battery supply industry. So it was important for us to go out, lock up capacity uh, immediately for that out for the next three or four years. And not just lock it up, but lock it up with one of the top ones, uh, ah. if not the top supplier in the year, uh, in, in the uh, world for this year and then going on. Their name is uh, a C C A T L, but that contract was, uh, was, I'd say, critical for us to be able to protect our our volumes next year. I got to go take care of a few things, but I just wanted to put a few pieces together and see what you guys think about Mullen producing. Do you think they're actually producing right now? I personally don't believe they are, but I hope I'm very much wrong on that. Just based off the things I've been looking into and what I'm seeing as far as how the PRs have been coming out, Mullen has yet to announce officially that they are producing vehicles. Hence the reason probably for this upcoming event on August 20th. Will they actually be showing video footage of newly produced vehicles rolling off the production line? Or will it be more doctored up leftover Elms goods? We'll have to see in the footage presented to us on that day. But at the same time, that is after the shareholder meeting on August 3rd. So what is really going on? What are they trying to push it? After the shareholder meeting, are they going to do something with the reverse stock split before, before the big event? Or will shareholders be yet locked into another reverse stock split and then they start releasing the production updates?
Let me know what you guys think about all the information covered. Again, like I said, I was just putting pieces together. Let me know what you think, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your week, man. I'm gone.